code so what exactly does that mean by infrastructure as code so it is basically a practice of defining and managing infrastructure using code and software development techniques so what does that mean it basically means like you can create and build or provision your infrastructure also same like your software application by writing your code right so with ISE infrastructure can be treated as code allowed it to be versioned tested and deployed like any other software application so what is the benefit of that so here are some benefit of using ISC so just like consistency and reproducibility what what does that mean so it basically mean like uh, let's say you want to create some infrastructure let's say you want to create some AWS EC2 instance or a virtual machine so whenever you are creating so let's say this is your instance you are creating you will have some configuration for this specific instance right so you will define some configurations on for this instance let's say it is a ec2 instance you have deployed on aws and you have defined some configurations right so these configurations you have defined for this instance let's say after that it this instance stopped or deleted or corrupted or something and now you have to create a, another instance with the same configuration that you did so you have to again create all the configurations or manage all the configuration that you have done in this ec2 instance right so but if you use iac so what you need to do is you can add your whole configurations inside your iac file your configuration file so it basically provides a declarative way to create your infrastructure or provision your infrastructure so you can write your code here and in your code you can define what are your configurations what are your requirements you want in your infrastructure and let's say you have deployed your ec2 instance using iac let's say it is corrupted you can again run this iac file this configuration file and you can again deploy the another ec2 instance or another infrastructure with the same configuration you did in the last one another benefit is scalability so iac enables infrastructure to be quickly and easily scaled up or down so as needed so this is especially important in cloud environments where infrastructure resources can be provisioned on demand and then deprovisioned when they are not no longer needed right and another benefit is version control so with iac infrastructure code can be stored in version control system just like you can store in github and you can control your versioning of your infrastructure as code in your git repository right so this helps you to ensure that changes are tracked and documented which can be especially important in regulated industries uh, and when managing complex systems so another benefit is faster deployment so iac enables infrastructure to be deployed quickly and easily which can help you to accelerate your software delivery and reduce time to market so another benefit is and very important benefit is automation with iac you can automate your provisioning of your infrastructure so it becomes possible to automate many aspects of infrastructure management using iac which can help you to reduce the workload on operation teams and improve the efficiency so also this can help to reduce the likelihood of human error which can be a common cause of outages and downtime let's say uh, you are create some human is creating some two instances and again and again with the configuration so there can be a human error but once you have already defined all your configurations inside this configuration file then you don't need to again ag again and again writing the same configuration you just need to run it so there is uh, no longer chances to be any human so let's get it started with Pulumi here so what is Pulumi it's basically a IAC tool that allows developers to create deploy and manage cloud infrastructure using programming languages such as JavaScript Python and Go so with Pulumi developers can define infrastructure using their familiar programming languages like Python JavaScript and Go and it enabling them to easily automate the deployment and management of their applications and services so it's not like terraform where you need to learn a new kind of syntax like hcl hashicorp configuration language where uh, you will uh, need to write a complete different or weird kind of syntax 
for defining your infrastructure as code but you can use here with Polomi uh, whatever language or programming language you are proficient with let's say if you are proficient with Python so you can use Python programming language if you are proficient with JavaScript so you can use JavaScript you can use Golang so now why you should use Pulumi or over any other IAC tool so so main benefit of using Pulumi is you can use your familiar programming languages so you can define your infrastructure using your familiar programming languages like Python JavaScript and Go and also it supports strongly typed languages like Go and TypeScript so which provide additional safety for you and here we, you will use real programming constructs it's not like terraform where uh, uh, let's say if you need to add some looping or some conditions or functions you need to uh, handle a weird kind of syntax so that is uh, here you can use your real constructs like uh, you can define your loops your functions your conditions same as you define for your building your software applications using your programming languages like in python in javascript whatever language you want to use you can which in which you are proficient with so pulumi supports a wide range of cloud providers including aws azure gcp uh, kubernetes ali cloud digital ocean vsphere openstack uh, oracle and cloudflare also so let's discuss about pulumi architecture so pulumi basically has this in these some main components like pulumi cli pulumi sdk pulumi engine resource providers and state storage so here you can see in this uh, flow chart uh, we have providers so pro what are providers so providers are responsible for interacting with cloud apis like if you are using aws azure kubernetes or gcp or something so pulumi includes built-in resource providers for many popular cloud platforms and also additional providers can be added as needed so it has uh, same like terraform it manages state so pulumi stores infrastructure state information in a backend storage system which enables it to track changes to infrastructure resources over time and manage dependencies between resources. Uh, you can use any Pulumi cloud. So Pulumi cloud is there and you can use GCS bucket, Google cloud storage bucket and also you can use S3. So you can even use your local machine for storing the state and also so here uh, what is pulumi engine so pulumi engine is responsible for executing your infrastructure code and generating resource manifest or deploying changes to your target environment cloud environment and here what is pulumi cli pulumi cli is basically command line interface for pulumi you can download pulumi and install on your command line and you can use so you can interact with pulumi using CLI it enables you to create manage and deploy infrastructure using your favorite programming languages What is Pulumi SDK? It's a set of libraries that enables developers to write infrastructure code in their favorite programming languages such as like Python JavaScript and go so it is same like whenever in Python you import some package or in JavaScript you import some package so Pulumi SDK provides uh, packages for every provider like GCP AWS it is etc so now let's discuss about pulumi project structure so whenever you will uh, create a new pulumi project so it will create a new pulumi project you can create using a pulumi command that is pulumi new and when you run this command you can create a new project so your new a directory of project will be created uh, sorry inside your project directory you will run this command and your new project will be created and inside your project directory you create your program uh, it can be in your favorite programming language or in like javascript python or go right so here you will refine your define your resources so same like terraform resources basically means what you want to create uh, for your infrastructure and these can have inputs and outputs every resource so here another component is stack so let's discuss about a stack what is exactly stack in pulumi so here you can see every pulumi program is deployed to a stack so stack is nothing but it's just like 
to denote different phases of development such as like development staging production or feature branches so you can separate your environments your application environments or project environments such like de development dev prod qa or staging uh, to different stacks so you can basically have only one uh, configuration for your infrastructure and also you can use different phases development phases for your application or for your project for your configuration so what are pulumi projects is any folder that contains a pulumi.yaml file and when in subfolder the closest and closing folder in pulumi.yaml file so pulumi.yaml file should be there uh, it is it determines the current project a new project can be created with pulumi new so pulumi new is a command to create pulumi new project so now let's uh, uh, go through our very very basic pulumi project structure we will create a new sample pulumi project and we will see how we can work with it so i have already installed pulumi if you want to install you can just go to pulumi documentation and you can see how to install pulumi cli on your local machine so now uh, if I run pulumi command so you can see it uh, gives me a lot of options here pulumi app pulumi stack pulumi config pulumi destroy and it's saying to begin working with pulumi run pulumi new command so now let's run pulumi new command so before that if you are not logged into pulumi cloud so you can log in but if you don't want to create a pulumi cloud account you can log in as local so it is saying uh, we are logged in into my local now what we need to do is pull me new let's let me create a new directory here let's say introduction or let's say getting started and go to this directory now i will run pull me new what i want is uh, let uh, i want to initialize a project for gcp so i will say gcp and i want to use language javascript right so i will use like pulumi new gcp javascript and i will hit enter so it will ask me something like uh, project name getting started i want to uh, keep the same uh, you can leave it default stack name dev is default you can provide your own stack name i keep it same here It is saying dev already exists so now prod greater stack prod and gcp project you can provide your gcp project id here let's say i'm not providing for now but it is installing the dependencies so let's wait for some time it will install all the dependencies that are required to start working with my gcp provider okay so my project is ready to go now so now let me start it in vs code so here we are you can see the directory structure here we have a pulumi.yaml file we have a pulumi.prod.yaml file so it is for production environment it is for my stack so how you, we can check the stacks you we can run the command pulumi stack ls you will see we have three stacks here dev prod and staging so now what we want to do is uh, let's say my default stack is prod here i want to assign my gcp project here how i can do i just need to go to my gcp cloud and i can copy this my project id and i will paste here right so now i have here in the code you can see uh, it is a code for basically creating a new gcp storage bucket so name is my bucket and it is basically a javascript file java complete javascript syntax you can use your favorite programming language javascript or python if you need to run in python you can use python also and now how you can do uh, how you can create your infrastructure using this code you just need to run the command pull me up just hit enter and it is creating and now just do yes and now it will say creating and creating 
so it is creating a stack that is prod and inside that prod stack it created a bucket a new bucket so now how i can remove this how i can destroy my infrastructure i just need to run the pulumi destroy command So now my infrastructure is deleted. So this is the quick restart with Pulumi. We will see a lot more about Pulumi. We will create more infrastructure you know, with Pulumi for AWS and GCP. So please stay tuned. So thanks for tuning into my channel. I hope you found the content valuable. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with our latest videos. Thanks again and I will see you in the next video.